Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone guys. I am glad you've joined me here today. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm working on a fun size canvas. I love it because the orientation could go both horizontal or vertically. I'm imagining this horizontal, excuse me, vertically, the long way. And what has inspired me, well, let me show it to you. It's a Blick Premier and it's an eight by 24. I love these long skinny canvases. They just speak to me. And these Blick canvases are good. They've got good teeth, a good price when you grab them on sale. They're extra deep and have a really good wood support. It smells so good when I pull that plastic off and it almost has a cedar smell to it. So I love these Blick's Premier canvases. But I was just kind of hanging out on Facebook, looking at people's art, and um, something popped up on my Facebook page. It was a um, it was a photograph, I think, an enhanced photograph of a close-up of what looked like a eagle's feather. And it had beautiful creams and taupes and tans and just a little bit of a gold hue to it and I thought to myself you know what that's a pretty color combination and I want to see if I can do something like that something feathery so we're going to give it a go if it works out great if it doesn't you know what we'll try something else it's easy breezy guys so let's talk about our colors our base coat today is my Rust-Oleum Metallics and that is the Metallic Champagne now all my paints are mixed with my usual flowing uh, pouring medium, excuse me, which is 50% Floetrol and 50% Golden GAC 800. Now I wanted my paints to be a little bit thicker than my swipe paints and I am out of my mix pour. Um, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. But what I did have was Oatrol. This is the Aussie Flow Troll. This is not the Aussie Flow Troll that everybody uses for their blooms. That's different. This stuff is thick as molasses. So I added a little bit to each one of my paints after I put my paint and my usual pouring medium in there. I added just about a quarter tablespoon to each cup to thicken it up just a little bit. Now I have used this before. I've experimented with all kinds of pouring mediums and it works just fine. It's, an, it's a paint extender. It allows you to work your paints a little bit longer. Um, what else? These paint colors, they are yummy. Let's start with this guy right here. That is my Golden Fluid Acrylics. That's the Iridescent Gold Fine. I love this gold. I've told you about it before. It's not in your face kind of gold, but I needed just a little bit more shimmer to it. So after I mixed it up, I added just a drop or two of my Sargent's Art Acrylic Metallics in the Aztec Gold. That's a pretty paint. It's just very, very bossy. This paint right here is my Chroma Molten Metals and this is the Aged Bronze but I kicked it up a notch by adding a couple of drops of my Golden Fluid Iridescent Bronze. It's fun playing with these paint colors guys. This right here is my Golden Iridescent Pearl and to thicken it up a little bit because it was extremely thin and I do this sometimes. I add a the same color to it in a heavier body paint. So the golden fluid is very very fluid and what I added to it was some deco art metallics in the pearl and this is a much thicker paint and it thickened my paints up and it did not compromise the color. So that's something I do periodically. This hue right here, this is yummy. Let's take a look at that. Pretty, pretty hue. That is golden acrylics, and this is the burnt umber. And I added a little bit of the golden iridescent bronze to it. And this final color right here is our base coat color, which I always like to keep on hand, the Rust-Oleum Metallics in the Metallic 
champagne. So we got some groovy colors here, guys. We're going to be swiping away. I'm going to use two things to swipe with. One, my damp paper towel cut up into different pieces and different sizes, as well as my flexible plastic. People ask me every day, what is that you're swiping with, Kathleen? It's just the plastic cover of a report cover that I cut up into different pieces. I have been using the same report cover since the beginning of my painting journey about 18, 19 months ago. So we're going to get busy, guys. We are going to put some music on for you. Put some music on for me so I can dance around and uh, we're going to have some fun. Glad you're here, guys.
the heart 